dear students, welcome to this first ICT learning session on health, safety and ethics. Same as in your prescribed textbook, our friend TPU is going to accompany us throughout this learning session. Today I'm going to explain to you the computer laboratory guidelines, that is the rules and regulations of using the computer laboratory. First, let's take a look at what a computer lab looks like. As you can see, the computer laboratory is different from an ordinary classroom. It is an air-conditioned room in which there are many computers and other devices such as scanners, printers and projectors. Adjustable chairs are used so that users are more comfortable. The computer lab is a specialist room and contains very expensive equipment and therefore is always under the supervision of the computer laboratory auxiliary. The computer lab is mainly used for practical classes and it is very important that you follow some rules and regulations. First of all, you must always ask for permission before entering the computer lab. Once inside and having access to computer facilities, you must seek permission from the teacher before using devices attached to the computer system or using any removable devices such as pen drives. Accessing the internet changing computer settings such as changing the desktop background, modifying or deleting files from the computer. Also when you are in the computer laboratory, you must keep silent and move around the room in an orderly manner. The computer laboratory must always be kept clean. You should not bring any food or drink inside the computer lab. When using computers to avoid any back or neck pain, you should adopt a good sitting posture. Your shoulders should be relaxed, your feet flat on the floor and your back straight. Your keyboard and monitor should be positioned directly in front of your body. You may use an adjustable chair to help you sit comfortably. For the safety of everyone, you must immediately report to your teacher any loose cables, broken cables, any damaged equipment or any unusual activities such as a student tampering with equipment. Now to check what you have learned today, dear students, let us do a quick test. Have a look at these pictures. Which one shows a good computer laboratory? Picture A or picture B? Yes, you have chosen the correct picture, picture B. Now, can you recognize which picture illustrates good sitting posture among A, B, C and D? The correct picture is picture C. Now students, let's attempt another exercise. Read the statements that appear on the screen carefully and say whether they are true or false. Here is the first one. Eating is allowed in the computer laboratory. The answer is false because you're not allowed to bring food or drinks inside the computer lab. Second statement. Seek your teacher's permission before using the computer. The answer is true.
third statement, you may use damaged computer equipment. The answer is false. You need to report immediately any damaged equipment to your teacher. Fourth statement, playing and running in the computer lab is allowed. The answer is false because you need to move around the lab in an orderly manner. Fifth statement, you should ask the teacher's permission before accessing the internet. The answer is true. Sixth statement, the computer lab must always be kept clean. The answer is true. Seventh statement, you may rename or delete files saved by other students. The answer is false because modifying or deleting files from the computer system is not allowed without the teacher's permission. Eighth statement, you may bring your own disk open drive and install programs on the computer system. The answer is false because you may not use removable devices without the teacher's permission. Ninth statement, you must stay quiet if you see a student inserting a pin in the computer casing. The answer is false because you need to report any unusual activities to the teacher immediately. And finally, the tenth statement, you must report broken cables to your teacher. The answer is true. Well, students, this is the end of our quick test. I hope that you were able to find all the correct answers. Now to check what you have learned today, let us make a quick summary. The computer laboratory is a specialist room and everyone should put into practice the following guidelines. Seek permission from your teacher before entering the computer lab and before using computer facilities. Move around the lab in an orderly manner in silence. Keep the computer lab clean. Do not bring food or drinks in the lab. Adopt a proper sitting posture. Report any broken cables, damaged equipment, and unusual activities to your teacher. So, dear students, make sure that you follow all the computer guidelines when you're in the computer laboratory. Now, it's assessment time. Please pause this video and attempt this exercise by recording your answers on a piece of paper. And once you are finished, you may resume the video to check whether your answers are correct. Please check your answers. I hope that you have got all the answers correct. Well, thank you for your attention. I hope that you have enjoyed today's lesson. The next lesson will cover safety precautions while using ICT tools and proper care of computer equipment. So it's goodbye for now. See you very soon.